Hello, my peoples. How y'all doing? Well, today, I'm coming at you with the number one recipe. The one that the world have been eating for years. But they've been eating it under these initials that something, something, something. But I'm going to give you the MCFC. Mama Cherish Fried Chicken. Okay? So, so easy to do. You will never ever, well, yeah, you will, because sometimes you just got to, because let's face it, sometimes they're quicker. But you won't want to be going visiting no colonel, no more. You're going to go to your own cupboard, to your own kitchen, and cook the mama way, okay? So, bye-bye, colonel. Hello, Mama Cherry. Fried chicken. <laughs> so, here we go. I have got here... Been marinating for about an hour. Just some regular old chicken pieces. Legs, thighs, and some wings. Salt, pepper, garlic salt, and some good old-fashioned Old Bay seasoning. Or you could make up your own Cajun seasoning, which I'll be showing you how to do at a later date. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more um, Old Bay on here. To this, I have got a bag. And this is the best way to do it. Get yourself a baggie. A bag, plastic bag, fill it with some flour. Can and I just ask, plain flour? Plain flour, self-rising flour, Does it don't it matter. doesn't matter. Flour. Okay. Okay. I always use self-rising because that's what I have in the house usually because that's what I bake with. Okay. So to this, we are going to add a generous dollop of Old Bay seasoning or Cajun seasoning. I'm going to use this all-purpose Polish seasoning because I'm international. I don't discriminate even on my seasonings. I go around the world looking for different things. So we're going to put a little bit of that in. We are also going to add some pepper. And let's go to Hungary and get some paprika. So we're going to put some smoked paprika Okay, in so is that smoked? Yeah, this one's smoked. If but you... it can be regular. I know you going to... We do like to give them an alternative. But we're going to smoke it, Jody. Okay, but if you had sweet paprika in your yeah, cupboard. you can add it. Fine, okay. Just add it. Fine. Really, the thing is, what I want people to get used to doing is using what you have. Okay. Experimenting. This is called herb salt. I'm going to put a little bit of herb salt in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Then, close your bag, mix it up. Okay. Now. I have on the stove heating up some vegetable oil. All right, let me just see, show how much needs to be in there. It's just, just under a half. You don't want it swimming in it. Okay. So that's like a quarter of a pan. Okay. But two, every time you fry chicken, mm -hmm. I'm doing this one from fresh. Yeah. Okay. So because my oil is fresh, I'm just going to put a little knob of butter. Okay. Now that helps with the browning process and a little bit of the flavoring. Mm -hmm. However... I normally, by my stove, I always have a little pot. And mm -hmm. in my pot, I have oil. Yeah. And that is from the last time that I cooked my fried chicken. Okay. So, for flavor's sake, I'm going to just add a touch of that oil in there. Okay. All right? So, when we finish cooking, When you I would... finish cooking, that's going to go into that pot. Okay. And I'll save it. And then the next time I won't be going from fresh oil. Yeah. I will just be using that. Okay. So my oil is still not quite. It's almost there. How do you know when it's hot enough? Well, I'll tell you what you're not going to do. You're not going to put your finger you in it? You ain't going to put your finger in it. Yeah, I would hope not. No. This is hot. You know it's hot. We've mixed up our flour. We've put all of our seasoning in it. And now all we're going to do is grab. I'm going to grab a couple of pieces, some legs. Couple of thighs, and we just when it coated. Now you notice I did not soak this in no milk. I did not have no wet batter. This is all dry, and it's gonna be all fine. Okay. And then when you put it in, you lie and drop. Okay. So don't just plunk it in. Be careful. Okay. And skin side down. Right. Okay. Turn that back up. Inside down. Right, can I just get to the pot, Ma? Yeah, get just to so the pot. So I can have a little look. How many pieces would you put in that pot? You're going to see. Right. 
<laughs> Fair enough. When I finish, that I'm, told me. I'm going to get them all in. You're going to put as many as you can get in, but you don't want to overcrowd it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. Because you do want to have room to maneuver. Okay. Okay. So, this chicken that's going in at the moment, the first layer, this first batch, should take about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to turn them and cover them. Mm -hmm. And the reason you cover is so that you make sure that it's cooking to the bone. Mm -hmm. All right, because ain't nothing worse. Okay, oh my gosh, mom. Hush, I'm all right. <laughs> just put your thumb in hot fat. Yes, and I can do that. Okay, can you, you just can. disclaim that to tell people? <laughs> Please do not stick your finger in the um, pot of hot oil. Thank you. Okay? <laughs> Because if you do, you better not say, I did it because I saw Mama Cherry do it. Mama Cherry got asbestos fingers. Okay, so we're going to let that cook. Mm -hmm. Let me just wash my hands because I'm going to move on to another recipe. But obviously, Sorry, I've I'm been dealing gonna... with raw chicken. Yeah. So i got to make sure we keep it right. Cool. Keep it right and keep it tight. Cool. Okay. So we'll come back to that when that really cooks up. So stop. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, now you know you're ready to turn your chicken when you can kind of look in the pan and visibly see. See the brown edges coming up? Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to flip that one. Okay. Tell me that ain't good, proper golden fried chicken. That looks good. Oh, yes. Of course oh, it looks good. Mom. <gasps> oh, it's been so long since I've had fried chicken. Okay, so let's just get that all turned over. And then once you've turned all of your chicken, mm -hmm. at this stage, you're now going to cover it. Okay. All right? All right. So remember, you do not cover your chicken until you have turned it, okay? Okay. That way now, that heat's going to actually get inside of that chicken to the bone. I have a question. Go on. Once you've turned it, do yeah. you keep it at the same heat or do you turn it down? No, keep it at the same heat. That's okay. fine. Yeah, no, just right. keep it at the same heat. And okay? can I just ask, how hot is it? Is it like, oh, it's quite a good flame. It's All a right. good flame. You've got right. a really nice, you know, you've got a good flame on that. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So, that's going to take about five, ten minutes now okay. covered. Okay. Then I'm going to uncover it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it back over again mm -hmm. and see how we get on. Okay. All right? Cool. Perfect. Okay. All right. We're right. coming back to it when it's done. All right. Don't forget, what's it called? MCFC. MCFC, Mama Cherry Fried Chicken. Coming to you direct. Forget the colonel. Just go to the mama. Good mugga wugga jugga. Look at that chicken. Now look at that. Now I'm going to turn it again. All right, it looks delicious. Because we want it nice Ooh. and crispy. Lelly, I need you to stand back, sweetheart. It's really time, hot fat. This time I'm going to leave that lid off, mm -hmm. and this chicken only needs two more minutes and it's done. Fantastic. And then I'll start my next batch. Alright, what are we having with the chicken? We are going to have, I found in the supermarket today, some purple potatoes. Yes, purple potatoes. So we're going to be having purple mash, purple mash. Oh my god. Okay. Um, and it's really good. They say that these purple potatoes are kind of like your blueberries. They got that antioxidant or whatever, whatever that word is. Antioxidants. That's the one. <laughs> and it's good for you. It's a superfood. Okay. So we're going to be having fried chicken, broccoli, purple uh, potatoes, and curry butternut squash. Yum. Get it! Yum. Are you going to do the mash now? Yep. I'm going to do the mash. But let me take the chicken out first. Okay. i got to get the chicken out. All right. I'm still filming you, just so you know. Okay. So, what you do with your chicken, get you some paper towels, line something, and then Oh my god, that looks so good. <gasps> I have a confession to make. Go on. The reason why I suggested to you that it might be a good idea to start cooking recipes and putting them on YouTube is because I can't be bothered to cook anymore. <laughs> so this is a really good way for me to not have to cook anymore. I can just come here and have dinner. All right, let me turn that down. 
So before we do anything else, let me just get my next batch in. Okay. Now. All right, I'm going to watch you. This batch, my bowl that had my jerk seasoning in, I'm going to add some chicken to this. Oh, okay. Just as a seasoning. And just get that all mixed all up in Okay, oh, I know which batch I'll be having. I'll be having the second batch. Another reason I'm making fried chicken, just so you know. Hold on a minute. Jason, can you guys keep it down, please? Thank you. Okay. The other reason I'm making fried chicken is last week, my car, I had to take it to the um, auto repair shop, my mechanic. And because it was a quite small job, I'm taking it again tomorrow. Um, I said to them, how much is that going to be? They know I cook. And I could tell. I just looked at them. I said... How about if I cook you some food? So they said they, they agreed to fix my car for some fried chicken. <laughs> now that's how you roll. <laughs> so I'm cooking this chicken up to take to my mechanic. And for being such good mates to me. Cool. Let's get this second batch going. And then I want you to film that chicken close up. Yeah, I will. Show them how it's supposed to look. I will. Just waiting for you to get all the chicken in so uh, I don't yeah, get in your way. Let's get this all in. Great. Those just wings left. Yeah, that's cool. Wings are going to deep fry. Make some hot wings. Oh. <laughs> you going to make hot wings today? Probably not. Okay. Because you're going to only eat it all up. <laughs> wait, because you're going to wait till I've left? Yes. Oh, <laughs> charming. So I can take it to the boys. Okay. Okay. So, remember, leave that to cook for about 20 minutes. Lid off. Mom! What? So, this is what your fried chicken comes out looking like. Look nice and mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. But wait a minute. The best way... Mm. <laughs> so, so it's good. Very good. And you can see how it's clear to the bone. That's good. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. All right. So M M C F C. That's yeah. I'm gonna just take that bit there. Yep. Cool. All right. Cool. Fried chicken. <laughs>